Okay, so for a throttle linkage, uh, this is the the actuation here of the carburetor. As you can see, the shaft runs between both of them. It's got this little lever in the middle there, and when you push that up, that controls uh, your throttle. So I need to connect that to a gas pedal over there behind the uh, firewall. Of course, I have to make the gas pedal too. Uh, and I'm going to be using a mechanical linkage rather than a cable because I think that's um, a lot cooler, would look a lot better uh, on this car. <coughs> and I have some parts to help me out with that already here. So you can see I've got some pieces here. This is one of the original um, Jaguar throttle linkages, so I'll be able to use that. Uh, this is an early Ford, part of an early Ford throttle linkage, so there's a lot of good um, aspects to that. I'll be able to use and modify that. Uh, and then I also have some other um, connectors here, the, the side, like the bullet style connectors on the end there. These are some linkages from like an old generator that I found at a junkyard a while ago. Um, but I think between these pieces, as well as some, some extra steel rod here, uh, I should be able to make a pretty nice uh, throttle pedal and linkage. So one of the first pieces that I'm making here is going to be a small aluminum rocker arm. It's going to be one of the first components of this throttle linkage not over near the carburetors. And I'm going to be casting this out of aluminum using the lost foam casting method. So here I'm carving the, the piece I want out of this insulation foam using a combination of this router with different bits on it and then also just hand carving it with an X-Acto knife. And then once I get the shape that I'm happy with, I'll bury this in some green sand and then pour aluminum into that which will immediately vaporize the foam but then leave the aluminum part in the, the cavity that that produces. So you can see the casting turned out pretty nice here. The, it's a nice, even, consistent surface finish. It really filled out the entire cavity very well. And one of the keys when you're doing this, same as what I mentioned when I made the aluminum carburetor scoops, is that whenever you're doing like small casting projects like this and you're melting down scrap aluminum to make new parts like this, you wanna start with a part that is already a piece of cast aluminum because you can't just grab any random pieces you have because not every alloy is good for casting. Like 6061 is a very common alloy for machining that I've used a lot um, for machining random parts out of stock, but that one, that alloy doesn't cast very well at all. So you'll have trouble using that. But for this, I used just some pieces of a cast aluminum intake manifold from a junkyard and it turned out quite nicely as you can see. So here you can see I'm disassembling these, these other um, throttle linkage parts that I'm using to, to make what I need. This is the old early Ford throttle linkage piece that you can see I cut the tip off there, that the tapered end with that little ball joint there. And I'm welding this to that larger piece of round stock that I have. And this is going to form the, the largest piece of this linkage here uh, that will run across the firewall from the pedal to the side of the engine 
uh, where the carburetors sit. And these four little aluminum blocks here are going to become the clamps essentially that hold that main throttle linkage onto the firewall. So there'll be one of these on either side of the firewall that clamp the, the throttle linkage onto it. One of them will use that same spring from the, the early Ford throttle linkage that I already had. And that will form the, the main section of this throttle linkage. So once I got those bolted to the firewall and that small hole cut in the firewall for the, the linkage to go through where the pedal is going to be, uh, the next step is to continue modifying this rod here to now incorporate the gas pedal itself. So you can see I'm just using the acetylene torch again to heat up the opposite side of this rod. And then to get the nice shape that I want, I made a cardboard template, well cardboard piece with a, has a drawing on it of the shape that I want this main pedal um, part to be. And so you can see I'm just heating it up with the torch a little bit at a time and then checking it to the pattern that I have. And then once I get the shape that I'm happy with, I'll let it cool down and then continue finishing up the pedal itself.
right, well that is the finished uh, throttle linkage as you can see here now. Um, you notice that the gas pedal is much higher up than the, the brake and clutch pedals, which are both kind of down here. And that was really just because um, I don't have enough room down here in the uh, area for my foot to have all three pedals lined up at floor level. So I added a little like uh, raised area to the floor on the right here for the gas pedal. So you got gas there, brake here, and then clutch on the left. And it's pretty comfortable. I think that's the definitely the most comfortable layout that I'm able to do for myself here. Um, but overall, it, it turned out pretty nicely. You can see it, linkage moves nice and smoothly, get full range of travel. Uh, the only thing I kind of still have yet to do is add a, a throttle stop to it, like on the firewall here, for when I'm at full throttle to have a physical stop to the pedal, rather than putting all the force from my foot into the rest of the linkage when it's already at full throttle. Um, but I can kind of get around to that whenever. But yeah, that's the throttle like you there. I think the only thing left to do now is to take it for a quick drive. Amazing. Oh my God. All right, try it again. What a cool guy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> So it was definitely a ton of fun here to be able to take the, the speedster for a spin around the yard one more time and also get a little bit more practice in the only manual car I've ever driven. And I was actually able to shift up into second gear here this time for a little bit and get a little bit more speed on it, which was really cool. And I was also able to take my dad for a quick ride too in it before, before it ran the risk of overheating, which was a ton of fun as well. And I was gonna include that here at the end of this video, but I think I'll save that footage and turn it into its own short video um, at some point in the next few weeks. So stay tuned for that. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.